Welcome to our Google Classroom tutorial. This is brought to you by Enlace de Familias at 299 Main Street in Holyoke. Our contact number is 413-532-9300. When you first initially enter your child's Google Classroom, the main page will look something like this. At the very top left corner, you'll have the options menu then you slide over to the little waffle on the right side and you will have the Google apps, your child's main sign-in page, and an option with a little plus sign where you can add a class you have a code for. On the bottom, you will be able to view any classes your child has been enrolled, assigned, or invited to. If your child has been invited to a class, it will appear like this with your child's class title, the child's teacher's name, and the teacher's picture. You will have the option to join this classroom. If your child has already been enrolled in a classroom, it will appear like this and your child has to do nothing further. If you have a code for a classroom, you would have to navigate up to the plus sign, press the plus sign, you will get another window like this, where you may be able to enter the classroom code and join. Once you join or click on any of the classes you have that have been assigned to you, you will be directed to the classroom's main page. Your classroom's main page will look like this. You will have the options menu over at the top again, you will have the options to view the stream, view the classwork, view the people. You will have your Google Apps and your child's main sign-in options. When you look down, you will be able to see the class title. There's the background image. Some upcoming events will be down here or upcoming assignments. and the feed will be down here. If you go up to the options menu at the top where the three bars are located, you will get a menu. This menu will have classes, which will take you back to the listing of all the classes, the main page when you first enter Google Classrooms. It will show you calendar, it will have the to-do list, and it will also have the classes your child has been signed up for. At the bottom, you will find the settings tab for Google Classrooms. If you click on calendar, you will be able to view your child's calendar. The calendar will either be by month, by week, or by day. You may be able to filter what classes you see on the calendar through this tab here at the top. You will click on it and you will be able to view either by class or all classes. When you go down to the calendar, your classes or assignments will be down posted under the dates. They will look like this and will usually be posted under the date that it is due. If you go back to the options where the three bars are at the top, left corner, you will be able to scroll down to the to-do list for your child. The to-do list will look like this. At the top, you will have the option to filter what you see in the to-do list. You may filter by one specific class or all classes. If you go down, you will, be, you will see that there are categories, the assignments your child is missing, the assignments that have no due date, the assignments that do have a due date, as well as their title, what class they're from, and the due date next to them. If you would like to see the assignments your child has already submitted, you scroll up to the top where it says done, and that will show you a listing of all the different assignments your child has been able to view has been able to complete. If you return back to the options menu where the three 
lines are at, you may go down and click class. That will bring you to the class's main page again. When you reach the class's main page again, you will see at the top where it says stream, classwork, and people. If you click on stream and scroll down, you will be able to see a stream of everything your teacher has posted, whether it be a new assignment or question. On the left-hand side, you will be able to see if any work is upcoming. If you go back to the top and click on classroom, you will be able to see all the assignments your child has been assigned for the one specific class. On this side, you will be able to see all the due dates, all the assignments your child has had, as well as all the topics your teacher has assigned for that one class. If you scroll to the top, you will see where it says view your work. When you click on view your work, it will bring you to your child's main page. This page will show you every assignment your child has been assigned by that one class. These assignments can be filtered in this box over here by assigned, returned, or missing. You will be able to see the status of that assignment on this row, and they will change depending if your child has missed it, if it's still pending or assigned, or if it has been turned in. The status will change depending on the work or progress on the assignment. If we return back to the main menu, or if we click on an assignment here, it will bring you to the assignments main page. When you reach the assignments main page, you will see the due date at the very top, the title of the assignment, the teacher who assigned it, and instructions. Sometimes there will be videos or links at the bottom here where your child can click to view them or be brought to another window. At the bottom, you can leave comments for your whole class to view, or on this side over on the right, you will be able to leave private comments about the assignment to your teacher. If you are ready to submit an assignment, you can go up to where it states view your work and add or create. If you are adding, you may be able to add an external document or a document that your child has created on Word or Google, or you can create. If you are to create, it will bring you to Google Docs or Google Slides or whatever option you choose. And there you will be able to create and submit. Once you submit, you will be brought back to this page and you will be able to click a button here that appears that says submit. If by any chance your child has submitted some work and feels like they want to edit, you will get an option that will let you unsubmit your work, edit it, and then resubmit it. If you have any more questions or need more assistance, these are the steps to follow in case of any issues. You may contact the Holyoke Public Schools through this link. You may call Holyoke Public Schools at this contact number, or you may call Enlace de Familias at 413-532-9300. Thank you and good luck.